We present a method for computing robust, task-based control policies for physically simulated characters. Our framework allows characters to demonstrate skill and purpose in completing a given task while interacting with the environment. Our method integrates multiple individual controllers in a principled way to create task-level control policies that can achieve high-level goals such as going to a line. Our underlying actions behave very differently from kinematic motion clips. The same action applied from different starting states can yield very different outcomes. Individual controllers can even fail for some states that naturally occur when applying other controllers. Good control policies can be difficult to develop by hand because of the state-dependent nature of actions and the need to know in what situations particular actions will fail. The control policies we generate can result in more natural motions. They also lead to more robust behaviors than the individual controllers can provide. We demonstrate a total of six tasks using three very different characters. For this task, the character's goal is to reach the line and start walking in place. Here, the goal is to walk at a normal speed in a user-specified direction. Here we show a control policy that guides the character to a target point. Notice that the character purposefully adapts his strategy as a result of external perturbations. This task has a three-dimensional task state. The oriented target points serve as useful waypoints for specifying desired navigation paths. The individual controllers can fail under external perturbations. Our framework learns how to combine the strengths of different controllers, resulting in an exceptionally robust forward walk. Here we illustrate the difference between a time-based and step-based value function as discussed in the paper. In this example, we show how strategies for moving to the target point differ based on the location of the goal. The top motion shows an unexpected turning behavior near the goal, which is corrected by modifying the reward function, as shown in the bottom motion. In the supplemental material, we include an interactive physics-based game developed using our heading and speed controller. The goal for the player is to steer the blind bird across the terrain to the goal. Our results show that it is possible to physically perturb simulated characters in significant ways while they purposefully attempt to achieve their locomotion-based task.